Recently, recently, I was asked about you know why get a HSC, a healthcare system engineering degree, when you could go get a green belt, a black belt, and Lean Six Sigma, which are great principles, great techniques. They've been used in many industries for uh, so much longer than 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 they have been in healthcare, and they are trending now. They're not trending because they're going to be around for a year and gone. They're trending because they very much apply to what we're doing in healthcare. The difference between getting a certificate and getting a degree is really where you want to go and what you want to do. The certificate says, I'm here, I'm current, I want to push initiatives, I want to see change, and it's good. A degree says, I want more, I want to look at the bigger picture, I want to have more, um, more push in my career, I want uh, a higher position, I want more responsibility, I wanted to enhance the tools that I had, I wanted to be able to take that to an employer, and I wanted to be able to build on that at a later point. A certificate, while it's important for the here and now, is something that changes. Every industry has numerous certificates, we have lots of certificate authorities that come out and they want to push their, their techniques and their principles. Well, a formal education has been standardized across the entire world. You get a bachelor's, you have a bachelor's, you have a master's, you have a master's. Um, and it's just, a, it's just a foundation for, for your knowledge base and what you work off of. I think it offers a balance throwing an engineer with a clinician. And that's why at Lehigh it's been great so far is we have a number of physicians in the curriculum so I get to work side by side with a cardiothoracic surgeon or an ER doctor and you get to bounce ideas off of them and they're eager to adopt the engineering aspect of HSC as much as I'm eager to adopt the clinical side and before we know it, we have a common ground and now we're tackling issues and using our strengths rather than our differences to solve problems and I think that's what a lot of hospitals will start to change if they haven't already is to allow an engineer to come in to utilize his strengths so for me it's it's the attitude it's the desire it's the passion and they see it right away and I think that it takes away any sort of defense they need to have. They, they know that I have a desire to make positive change. I am a product of good health care. And in no way will I ever want to introduce a step or a process that would make their, their job harder. And sometimes there may be some changes, some culture changes, but these are things, again, you know, when you have the passion and desire to make this change, positive change, that right away help overcome any of the issues. I experienced an accident, a life-altering accident. I was left without the ability to use my legs. I'm, I'm paraplegic, so for me, right away, I was impacted by healthcare, and I, I didn't realize it. I'm on, I'm on my back for about five, six months in a rehab facility, and we've got all these people around me, all these clinicians, um, getting me back to a point where I would be healthy enough to return to the workforce and return to uh, a very normal life. And for me, I just wanted to get out, get back to work, and get back to my career. So I was so focused on the endpoint, I didn't even capture everything that was going on to me um, and all the, the, the great care I was getting. So I, I went back and I looked in hindsight and I realized that I received amazing care, amazing care to get me back to work almost immediately, back to being very productive and back to a very individual lifestyle. And it's, it, that was very important to me. And again, I, I didn't realize right away, but it took about a year, year and a half after my injury that I, I realized the impression that these physicians and the support staff, the clinician, left on me, and I realized, is, realized that I wanted to apply myself to that experience. I didn't necessarily want to be the one to interact with patients, but I wanted to be the ones to improve that, that process for those that might go through an experience where they need to rely on healthcare to get back to a functional level. I wanted to be able to improve that.